Hello, Buzzcuts, my name is HotCC and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where last time we tried to boost our rocket production so we get more space science. Uh, we managed that, but we also uh, thought that probably the next bottleneck is the satellites. And for some reasons, no satellites were produced and looking into it, it was because of missing gears uh, that we need uh, probably for radars. Yeah. And we are here at our gear facility and if we look at it, uh, the delivery stations don't accept trains and the pickup stations too have trains sitting there uh, and the other one um, apparently not enough material uh, to load another train. And if we look where the trains are stuck, they are waiting to deliver iron and if we look where those trains are, they are basically waiting for gears and this one obviously um, cannot go there D did not didn't we have a waiting red science station waiting waiting No, apparently we had not. So maybe that's also something. But this train here, um, we see it's fully loaded. It wants to load 2,000 2, gears, 2,000 iron plates. But we have a bit more iron plates uh, than 2,000 and that's why the 2,000 gears don't have space in there. So let's set here the filter fields so that should not happen in the in the future because this this middle station here that's basically the station where most of the materials are being delivered. And the reason we don't get any delivery trains is because we have too much iron uh, stuck in these chests. So the system is thinking, I don't need to deliver any more iron. Um, what we probably can do is... Distribute the, the iron down there that should then fill in uh, this slot and uh, we should see this one becoming white soonish. Um, then let's see if we can find a waiting station uh, that is unused that we can repurpose for the red science delivery maybe here yes waiting red science delivery And then we add the station here on the schedule. Red science delivery. Ah, stop is disabled. Uh, 
we can change that. Um, enable the stop. And instead of there, go there. That should free up that slot. Here we have that train again. And there we go. So that should have solved that part of the problem. So we can head back down to our rocket and see where we stand. Previously we had the issue and apparently we again have it where we don't have enough uh, low density structures. We boosted the, the speed here so probably now we just have to add more trains to deliver here but we also see that the rocket control units and the rocket fuel uh, is is backlogged but not to the uh, amount where these chests are full and the low density structures here is empty. Um, our satellites are also running low and that's because we are missing here uh, the solar panels. This train, um, we also have only one train going making that trip so i'm thinking we can also add a second train here so let's find a fueling station yep this one will do and And let's try to grab that train. I should not try that while standing on the rails when a train is coming. Bad idea. Was also a bad idea in the past. Apparently I'm not really able to learn from my mistakes. But luckily, at least this time, it's not a long way to walk. Um, so where is this train? Going for the waiting station. Is it this one here? No. We have to find the train and uh, uh, and assign the the right schedule there. Okay, uh, we can probably catch it at that station. It's this one. have a bit of copper waiting here not all furnaces are working he 
Yep, that's the right one. So go ahead. Um, um, you were a bit too fast because you left half your engine behind so let's fix that fuel and then off you go this time with both engine ports so that supplied as well another rocket lifting off and uh, we are nearing the 20,000 science packs we have three more uh, train uh, satellites left there we get another incoming here um, looking at this we could maybe still add another train but i first want to see how our satellite production turns out finally a train has arrived um it's standing here quite a while um basically the the same thing here because we have the the waiting uh with the um two minutes uh there but if we turn that down to inactivity 10 seconds this time and then um times past uh two minutes so that at most it stands two minutes there uh, and the next train can come in i also added speed modules on these ones because if we look at the recipe we need a hundred solar panels we need a uh, hundred accumulators uh, probably we would not need it in here we only need five radars um, but by the looks of it uh, we are missing uh, green circuits here uh, for proper speeding up the satellite production but our rocket starts uh, that goes uh, nicely so if we have a look at the space science there we are at 200 per minute so that's that's a bit more than three science packs per second that's more what we want to achieve we just have to make sure that we can keep up with uh, satellite production so that's probably really the the bottleneck um in order to sustaining these uh because i think now with four trains um delivering the goods for the rocket parts uh we do have a good frequency um uh, to really build rockets fast enough and if we can then also ensure the rocket can actually launch because there is a satellite ready uh, that's good so if we look again we are about a rocket every six minutes so every six minutes we should also uh, make a satellite so let's wait a bit um, for this system that we tried to to fix here um 
to gain traction um, and see how many satellites or how long a satellite actually actually takes or if there are further actions that we need to take looking at this we cannot yet keep up with our satellite production and i assume that's because two trains are just not enough at least both our trains are mostly on the move or in the process of loading and not stuck in uh, in waiting uh, waiting base but i think we shall add two more trains to here i also replace the uh, iron chest with steel chest so we can buffer a bit more on here and then head faster unloading to ensure that with the reduced time that a train is standing at the station we can at the same time uh, unload uh, more things um, if they are still on the train so let's add two more trains then That's good, yes. And off you go. And another one here. Off you go. And they will space out a bit after a while. Uh, comes the next one. But something I did uh, notice is uh, we are lacking here the green circuits. And Uh, now we have one in the in the waiting bay but basically if we look at our green circuit production uh, we have uh, three slots um, and all of them are blue which means either a train is coming or there is just not enough material uh, going on there and then also looking at uh, production values we're producing 2.5 thousand per minute but we are actually consuming more than that so to me that's an indication we need another factory for the green circuits but probably then we also have to look into um, uh, the uh, setup for the for the wires we seem to have enough wires as we have uh, uh, three white stations where we could pick up but I mean we also have to make sure that we can deliver materials uh, today and now we see from a delivery standpoint we have three stations that could take on a train but none is coming so where are they at this one is stuck Yeah, maybe there is also something we can improve with, with signaling. Uh, not sure. That's where we will focus on next time. Um, for today, uh, let's have a last look at 
where we stand with our production we are still at 2000 um, per minute or 2000 per 10 minutes 2200 per minute and that's yeah i would say frequency of of six minutes a, a rocket given that we have the satellites ready and the queue here has shrunk shrunken to one satellite only so in a short amount of time we will run out of the capability to launch new rockets because of missing satellites um, but hopefully the added trains here should help out once they have gotten into into the rhythm uh, and have a good flow so let's observe that um, three trains on the move one just left the the waiting bay and part of the problem with this delivery is that there are so many materials they have to pick up so they have to run to quite a few stations uh, to pick up all the materials before they end up here and that basically also means uh, for each individual item they cannot carry all that much um, and probably we could do with a bit more uh, green circuits um, let's up that to an additional stack that was the train we just did let's have it here as well that's the second the third and the force you are not full What's up with you? All right, let's uh, let's wait a bit to see how this turns out to affect our setup. Another train has arrived and I opted the green circuits to 1800 after inspecting the cargo wagon and seeing that yes we can fit it in there and that should help us boosting the production here a bit. However if we look at satellites uh, per minute we should have uh, a satellite every six minutes um, here there we had the problem that we did not produce anything then we had a long gap then this is six minutes but that would mean we should see one coming out any minute now and by the amount of solar panels that are in there 
I don't see that likely within the next minute. So we still need to uh, to improve here. Um, but while I was I was waiting, uh, I was also thinking ahead. How can we improve this? Uh, because we can see there are a lot of trains here and we have kind of a congestion problem. So adding another factory here um, would not necessarily help with, with that aspect. Therefore, I think before we turn our attention to uh, uh, adding another green circuit factory, uh, we will go ahead and hook up a uh, copper field down here uh, that we then use to supply all the, the factories that we have that are not related to uh, circuit production, uh, which we have up here. So that basically in this area, we then have copper delivery uh, really focused for the circuit production and uh, for everything else that needs copper it comes from down here at least I hope that works out uh, we might be able to uh, fit in three uh, stations down here and that should last us a while but that's definitely a project for another time so hope you enjoyed this episode and turn in tune in uh when we try to fix some more problems until then goodbye